Army recognition is in Belgrade, Serbia to cover the International Defense Exhibition Partner 2021. Today is the opening ceremony and the event was attended by the President of Serbia as well as military delegation from all over the world. Today is also a very important event because Yugo Import, the Serbian state company, unveiled for the first time its new 8x8 armored vehicle called Ladzanski. My name is Bogdan Dimitrievich. I'm one of the engineers that designed the vehicle uh, Lazanski and also the vehicle Lazar and Miloš. So we have a designing team specifically for the armor personal carriers and IFVs. Today is our world prem premiere of the vehicle Lazanski 8x8. So the main requirement for the new vehicle appeared when the, the military guys and also the foreign market uh, demanded the vehicle of higher capabilities in terms of ballistic protection and also the armament that could be installed on top. Uh, that itself uh, made the main demand about the weight that the vehicle uh, is supposed to carry and so we were choosing whether to upgrade the initial vehicle Lazar or to go with some brand new design and uh, the choice was on the latter. So we, de uh, we decided to make a vehicle of much higher uh, payload and much higher capabilities so we can install high levels of ballistic and also high levels of armament. The Lazar vehicle in its initial configuration with 12.7 machine gun is more of an APC type of uh, vehicle. The Lazanski 8x8 was initially um, designed as an, more of an IFV type of vehicle because it carries stronger levels of ballistic protection and also higher damage is uh, made from the weapons that we install on it. So it's much more capable to go closer to the front line and uh, much more towards the IFV. Regarding the type of hull of the vehicle, unlike the Lazar generation of vehicle, we are using the monocoque design. Over here we are using the Caterpillar engine, 711 horsepower, especially modified for this uh, type of application. And also we are using the, the Allison transmission, Allison 400 special purpose type of transmission for the, for the power pack. Regarding the system for the transmission, we are using Finnish components this time. We are using transfer case specifically designed for this vehicle by Finnish company Katsa and also the drive line of the Finnish company Sisu. Well, the weapon station is made by the Russian company Burevesnik. It is a weapon station that has been installed on the land uh, vehicles and uh, predominantly the BMPs, Russian BMPs uh, on, the, on the tracks. This is the premier uh, vehicle in the world that's wheeled and that will carry this type of a weapon station. It's not that often that you see this big caliber. We have a 57 millimeter cannon that is the main armament and also we have a coaxial uh, 7.62 machine gun. Uh, also we have the observing uh, station on the top for the commander and also the gunner. Uh, we have a laser range finder. The main category that Lazar had as the protection in the ambush situation was the immediate response. This vehicle here, we are using the standard configuration where the soldiers are facing uh, each other, but we increased the level of protection much higher so that category in the protection is not the immediate response from the personal armament, but its armor itself. There is a lot more space for the soldiers and also behind their backs, there is also uh, space for their backpacks, uh, equipment and uh, other stuff that they might need. This is the embarking compartment for the soldiers that are for the infantrymen. You can go up to 13 places for the soldiers if needed. Also, we have made some uh, new approaches. We installed uh, special anti-blast seats that are made from the company Mobius. And also they have all the uh, footrest uh, position for the soldiers as well basic crew of the vehicle is standard driver, commander and uh, gunner configuration with 10 up to 11 infantrymen in the back compartment. The main, the main concept is uh, for the crew to embark fastly, quickly and disembark from the vehicle. Uh, this is a fully functional vehicle and we are expecting uh, serial production immediately after the, all the testings and the next year would probably be well expected for the start of the serial production of the vehicle.